Shocking details have been revealed about the alleged actions of the Porsche driver in the moments after the Melbourne freeway crash, which killed four police officers. He's accused of filming one of the officers and verbally abusing her as she lay dying. As leading senior constable Lynette Taylor was groaning, radioing for help, there was no help from the man right next to her, Richard Pusey. Only words lamenting what her imminent death might mean for him. Absolutely amazing. All I wanted to do was go home and have my sushi. Now you f*** my f car. The mortgage broker allegedly said it as he took video of her dying. He's very deeply traumatised. The 41-year-old was refused bail. When you're reminded that evil walks among us, and uh, this has been one of those days. There was a minute's silence inside court, but less dignified outside the home Pusey shares with his wife. Four police heroes died, and one coward lived. Lynette Taylor, Kevin King, Glenn Humphreys and Josh Presney were impounding Pusey's Porsche, having clocked it at 149 k's, its driver allegedly high on ice and cannabis. My soulmate has gone. He wore a uniform, but he was a person under that uniform. Truck driver mm. Mahinda Bajwa remains in hospital under guard. Friends say he does not drink or take drugs. Crash investigators will want to ask Bajwa when he's well enough why they allegedly found drugs inside the cabin of his truck. He works for Connect Logistics, a trucking company based here at Riverson in Sydney's West. It would not respond to any of our inquiries. As Melbourne mourns, draped in blue, the city also digests the action of a man who allegedly sent images of the dead officers to a friend, joking how he hoped to get out of the fine. Robert Abadia, 7 News.